Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to record your screen and to write on your venue. Um, the first thing you need to know is I'm using something called Screencast-O-Matic right now. Um, it allows me to record anything that I do on the screen. Okay, to get to it you just press your Windows key. It'll bring you here. You scroll down and you scroll over until you find Screencast-O-Matic. It's right in here. Okay, so you click that and it will open up. And it'll it'll give a little pop-up window that I can't show you right now because I'm using it. Um, but you just want to click Free Recorder when that pops up. Um, and so the next useful tool that we're going to use is called Epic Pen. Um, and Epic Pen is what makes it, it turns our screen into a smart board, basically. So we press our Windows key again, come here, scroll over again, we find Epic Pen. It's again, alphabetical, so it's right here. Click it. It opens up. It's going to ask you to update and download. Don't do that yet. We'll do that at some other point. Just press that X at the top. And Epic Pen then just turns your screen into a whiteboard. It's just like Active Inspire that we've used in class before. Okay? So this is really cool because you can use this tool to teach someone else something. If you want to make a quick video for someone to watch, like the ones I've made for you, um, say you want to teach someone the set model of multiplication. So you could write them a problem. 3 times 6 equals something. And so then you could tell them, well, if we want to do the set model, we know. It means there are three groups of six things. So we draw three groups. Two, three. And we put six things in them. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we know that we do a repeated addition. Six plus six plus six. 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, so that means we know that 3 times 6 is 18. It's going to be a really cool way to show people how to do something or make something for someone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use these tools to teach other people math lessons, and we're also going to use them to teach them how to do things on our venues, and how to upload things to YouTube, and Google Drive, and share documents. But for now, let's just start with making some math concepts, okay? So if you have questions, leave a comment in Google Classroom, or you can come see me if you're at school. Uh, I'll talk to you later.